Hello everyone, welcome in Learn CHG. In this video, we are going to discuss about the percentage. Okay, the symbol of the percentage is this one. Okay, I hope you know that. So in the Excel, we will see that how to find the percentage. Okay, in your case, the data could be quite large. But in my case, there is only the serial number from 1 to 10. Got it my point and I hope you know that what is percentage, right? So in this video, we are going to just see it. And I, I know that we are calculator, you know that how to find the percentage. But in Excel, what is the use? Like how Excel could be quite useful for us to find out the percentage and how it could save our lots of time we will see in this video. So see here, first we will find the obtained marks. Okay, first we will find the obtained marks. Here are number of students from A to J and there are four subjects. Okay, so total marks will be 400 and I am considering that my one subject has a the total marks is 100. So the total marks will be 400. Now I want to find out the obtained marks. So what I will do, I will sum this row, right? C23 to F23. So what is the formula? You all know that that is equal to sum select this C23 then cover it to F23 then close this bracket and enter out. So it is 322 that is a total sum of the column. Now what we have to what we have to do we have to simply click here at this plus sign which you are showing on the video and you have to drag it till 10th now click so here the magic is that you don't need to do again and again that calculation you will find easily all the calculation okay what you have to do you have to just drag it out got it my point okay so now to find out the percentage what i'll do what is the percentage i have to simply uh, 322 divided by 400 okay and into 100 is a percentage okay simply this is the percentage right so what we will do simply go here press equal to then g23 then divided by what this is this is the total mark then divided by total marks and press enter so this is my percentage now you will find one thing here i have simply written here 80.50 okay why because when I will select this cell that is I 23 so you will see that I have already selected here percentage okay but in this case okay in this that is I 24 okay in this row you will see that here is written as journal now how I will find the percentage let's see that what I will do simply I will press equal to then this one means G24 divided by H24 that is this one. Now what I will do, I will write or apply multiple sign and 100. Okay, now enter. So 66.5, this is my percentage. Now are you, are you getting my point what I did here? Here was already in the earlier case, here was already selected percentage, but in this case, I have written okay I have give the command of percentage okay what I did I simply divide this with this one then I multiply 100 that's why this percentage came okay in that case like uh, which I did that time okay if we apply that formula so that formula we can also apply what we will have to do simply we have to press equal to then G24 divided by H24 and enter out so 66.50 this is the percentage when you will write here percentage so you will find here the unit if you will not write the percentage here in the journal calculation you will do that so you will not find here percentage because okay it does not mean because you are already written above that this is the percentage now what we can do we don't want again and again to find out the percentage so what we will do we will simply select both the cell okay then we will here you can see the plus, uh, plus sign i'll simply drag it down till 10th serial number and click it out so i'll find that the percentage of each student okay so here you can see that i have find out the percentage of each student or 
my time has reduced means i reduced my time i saved my time so that's why in the industry when we deal with the large data we play with the excel if you have a knowledge of excel if you have a good knowledge of excel so it's good for you means it will save you a lots of time okay because you don't need to do calculation again and again again and again what you need to do if you know the shortcut is you you will be easily solve large problems in a very less time okay so that's all for the today's video i hope you like this video if you like this video you can subscribe our learn chhe youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest notification thank you for watching see you soon